so i have been getting multiple requests for more high paint videos so this video is for those people and if you haven't downloaded the high paint app then do it right now it's completely free now let's get started you can get the color palette just take the screenshot now and import it in the app then you can pick the colors from it so i have set the blue color as the background color and i'll be using the solid pen brush to draw here and you might not have this brush in your app because it's not the default brush but i have shown the process of making this brush in a youtube short so i'll paste the link in the description it's a very easy to make brush always keep the sketch layer on the top and reduce the opacity Now let's start drawing. So just like any other drawing app, if you hold for a second after drawing a line, it will snap into a straight line and you can edit it like this. Let's add a clipping mask over this layer. And let me rename the top layer as sketch so it will be more clear as this is a sketch layer and if you don't know what is a clipping mask then you can click on the card to watch the clipping mask tutorial it's for the infinite painter app but you will get the concept of what is a clipping mask and alpha lock To make this structure thing, I don't know what it's called, to make this, I'll use the selection tool. Select the rectangular selection tool and make the shape like this. Now fill it and go to the transform tool and select the distort and edit the shape like this. Duplicate it to make the smaller shape. Now use the lasso tool in the selection tools to make the other part of it. Now we will duplicate it multiple times. Merge these two and duplicate the layer. Now merge all these into a single layer. You might see these dark outlines on the duplicate layers and I don't know why these are appearing here but we can fix it. Just turn on the pixel transparency lock on the layer which is also known as alpha lock. Now draw on the edges of the shape with the same color. Now I'll merge all the layers into a single layer and rename it to top. So this is the top portion of the building.
Now as we have done before, I'll use the selection tool to make the shape of the window. Now to give the shape a thickness, make a duplicate of it and move the lower layer using the transform tool. And fill it with the dark color. And join the corners like this. To make the slits in the window doors, I'll use the grid guide. Tap on the plus icon and select the auxiliary line. You will see a grid on your screen. You can edit it as you like. Now your strokes will be snapped to this guide. Make it a clipping mask to keep it visible only on the white doors. Now erase them from the edges to make the borders of the door.
use the multiply blend mode to make the shadows it will make everything below it darker with respect to the colors Now make a duplicate of the white doors and bring them below all the layers of the window and edit the shape slightly using the distort tool. Fill it with a dark color. Now change the blend mode to multiply. Now merge all the layers into a single layer but not the bottom shadow layer. Swipe left on the shadow layer to select both layers then tap on the new folder to enclose them in a folder. Now rename it to window. Now make some duplicates and place them using the transform. So that's it we have created a pro level illustration in our phone using this amazing free drawing app and I really want all of you guys to try it by yourself so don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to my channel for more content related to digital art and you can also support the channel by clicking on the join button you will get some exclusive perks over there see you guys in the next video.